YouTube what it is, man. It's your boy side so fly. I am no wave. I am no bridge, man. Now, right now, son, so I know this background right here is completely different. I've never made a video down here before. This low-key, this is like my first time ever like at this pool little area. But um, I wanted to make this video. I really gotta talk to y'all, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, I feel like this video is gonna help somebody. And if you watching this video, if you're going through something in life, then shit, this this is for you. You feel me? It's not a mistake that you're like seeing this video. Um, now before we actually get started, if you're not subscribed already, man, click subscribe, catch the wave, join the family, uh, like the video. If you actually enjoy the video, you know, definitely like it. But quick little story time. So earlier today, I actually just left the gym. Um, I didn't wear this shirt at the gym. I had these shades on at the gym. I wore the watch. I kind of just went to the crib, like threw the shirt on, threw the watch, threw the chain on, and I just, you know, whatever, whatever. Quick little drip check. I think I got three different colors on, but if you don't know, I'm colorblind, so I can't, I can't tell anyway. So shit look the same to me. But um, yeah, quick story time. So at the gym, I don't know what was going on, but two people crazy every time i record but two people had came up to me and um this is like two separate occasions they came up to me and it was pretty much telling me about like uh they're like oh yeah bro i follow you i'm subscribed to a youtube channel one of the dudes he was like yo bro you got a you got a channel and i was like yeah this is like mid workout or whatever and he's like you got a channel and i'm like yeah and he's like oh yeah man because i'm lifting and i see the dude looking at me and i'm like yo why this nigga keep looking at me son <laughs> and he ended up coming up to me. He's like, yo, man, uh, what's your channel name? And I told him, he's like, yo, man, I've been watching you for a long time. And I'm like, oh, word, like, that's what's up. Like, I appreciate the love, appreciate the support, all that. Like, I'm not going to lie, that don't happen too often. But when it does, that's always like a, a eye-opening moment for me. Just like, damn, like, like, people around the world really be, like, watching me, you feel me? Um, and then... The second occasion, this is when I was leaving. And it's crazy how it happened two times in one day. But the second occasion, I was leaving. And then a dude came up to me. And he pretty much said the same thing. He's like, yo, are you size so fly? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, um, he, like, he was like, oh, my God. Like, bro, that's crazy. Like, you go to this gym? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, you live here? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, I didn't know, man. I've been watching you for a long time. And he pretty much just started telling me about my life. Hopefully, you know, they're watching this video if you are. What's up, man? Like I said, I appreciate the love and I appreciate you because you just inspired me to, you know, make a video. I haven't made a video like this in a little minute, but he was telling me like, yeah, man, you know, I was watching you back, you know, when you was on the football grind, when you was trying to go to the league, I was watching you when, you know, when you had like real life shit going on, when your brother passed. Uh, and then when you, you know, gave up on football and you start, you know, trading and you start, you know, um, getting on like the money, the money journey and stuff like that. when we start trading and like it kind of got like it was turned into like a real live conversation. And he was like, yo, man, like I ain't gonna lie. Like, thank you. Because like you helped me. He was pretty much telling me how I motivated him. Like he's like, yo, man, like you helped me get through like a real dark time. You feel me? The fact that I seen somebody else who looked like me, who was going through shit too, and they didn't give up, like, that's that kept me going, you know? And I was just like, damn, like, you know, that's crazy. That's what's up, man. Like, and I, I pretty much said the same thing to him. Like, yo, man, I appreciate the love, like, for real, for real. And, um, you know, he was like, yeah, man, to see where you are right now, like, that's crazy. Like, because I saw when you was down bad, and he was like, I just, I saw, you know, when bad things was happening to you and, you know, how, like, how you changed throughout, you know, throughout time or whatever. And <clears throat> at the time when he was saying it, like, I'm thinking like, damn, like, that's crazy. Like, you know, because I make videos and I feel like the videos don't really get, like, views and stuff, but somebody watching it, you feel me? And you never know who's watching. You never know. Who's just like you? You never know who can relate to everything that you're saying, everything that you're doing. You know, and it's kind of when I was like, when I left, it kind of, it was just, I was just like replaying a conversation. And I'm just like, damn, like, it pretty much just inspired me to make this video. And I don't want this video to be too long, but I mean, you see the title. The point of this video is like, listen, man, when things get hard, you cannot give up. I like, it's different reasons why you can't give up. One main reason why you can't give up is because 
bro, what the hell are you going to do? You're going to give up and, and then what? You feel me? You just, like, <laughs> giving up is not, that's not even an option for real. You feel me? Like, no matter what happens to you, you know, and I know, <clears throat> like, I used to go through, I mean, I still go through shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm going through stuff right now, you feel me? Like, real life stuff, like, things that make me, like, things that, you know, break my heart, you feel me? Like, I go through real life shit, too, you know, but back then, you know, I was a completely different person. So, like, it's times when, you know, I used to, you know, things are happening. I used to be like, man, why does that happen to me, man? Like, why I got to be, like, why I got to do it? Like, you know, like, why me? And even though shit got hard, like, like I said, bro, giving up is not an option, okay? And it's never going to stop. It's never going to stop. It's going to always be a problem. It's going to always be something. You feel me? And you're going to, it's easy to think like, oh, yeah, man, you know, once I make some money, once I make some money, you know, all my problems going to be solved. No. You feel me? Like, you don't have a real problem until you got a problem that money can't solve. Like, that's that's a real problem. When you have a problem that money cannot solve, that's when, you know, you really got some shit on your hands. You know, and I'm no different. Like, I remember when I used to, when I had 20,000 subscribers and I was like, yeah, man, once I get to 100,000, like, everything going to be good. You know, I'm going to start making a lot of money on YouTube and blah, blah, blah. I got to 100,000 and nothing, nothing changed. <laughs> I still had the same problems. I was making a little bit more money, but it wasn't crazy like I thought it was. Like, nothing's going to change. You feel me? And even when you get to the next level in life, like, problems still going to be there. There's going to be a different type of problems, but it's still going to be there, you know? Um, like I said, I don't want this video, you know, to be too long. I just kind of want to put this message out there and put, you know, my energy kind of out there in the world, in the universe. And, you know, just, I just want to put it out there. Like, things going to happen, man. Shit going to happen. And it's not even about what happens. It's not about what happens to you. It's about how you react to what happens. You feel me? How do you react when that bad thing happens, you know? Like, yeah, man, it's, this is just life for real. <laughs> it really is, like, this is really just life, you know, and like I said, even me in my situation, like, I'm making this video for y'all, but I'm also making this video for me, too, because, like I said, I'm going through real, I go through real life shit, too, you feel me? Like, yeah, I'm not going through, uh, you know, the same type of problems that I was going through years ago back when I couldn't pay my rent and stuff like that. But, like, bro, I'm telling you now, like, I really, I go through stuff too. And a lot of stuff I really don't even talk about. Like, a lot of, 95% of the stuff that I go through, I don't talk about it. I keep it to myself. I keep it bottled up. And I know that's not good. And I kind of just had a realization, like, like, bro, you really do just be keeping stuff bottled up. And, I mean, back then, like, back in the day, I didn't keep stuff about it up because I always made videos and I always kind of let that stuff out in the video. And then I was playing football to where, like, I can I can express my rage and my anger and my aggression and I could just hit shit and hit niggas as hard as I possibly can. And, you know, that helped. But now, like, there's nothing that I could do right now to where I can hit somebody as hard as I can. I mean, besides, like, boxing or, like, fighting or something like that, like... Like, I play flag football, but flag football, that's, that's, it helps, but it's not helping me get all of my aggression out of the way, you know? Lifting weights, playing basketball, like, it helps, but it's not, it's not helping me get everything out, you know? And um, YouTube used to help when I, back when I used to do it, but like I said, I haven't done it in a while, so all that stuff, every, pretty much everything that's, you know, been happening in my life and just the fact that both of those, the both of the two guys who came up to me today, I just feel like, like, damn, like, I don't know. Maybe this is just a sign or something. Like, bro, like, get back on YouTube for real, for real. Because I already, I already tell y'all, YouTube is what I really want to do anyway. YouTube is like, like, honestly, my real passion, even though you probably can't really tell. But, yeah, man, it's the point of this video. Don't give up, man. You got to have. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that things are going to change. And you got to have faith that things are going to change. And that things are going to get better. You feel me? And it's a difference between 
uh, believing in faith. Like to, those are two different things. Like belief is based off of like information. You feel me? Like back when I was lo- back when I was um, playing football, like I believed that I was gonna get to the next level because the things that was happening in the games, like I saw my talent level compared to everybody else's. I believe that, you know, I was going to do this and everything I said I was going to do, like, I believe that that was going to happen because I was putting in the work every single day. You feel me? I saw myself getting faster. I saw myself getting stronger. I saw saw myself getting better. Like, I believed it because I saw it, you know, that's belief. And faith is like, faith is something that you can't see. You can't, I mean, you could feel it, but faith is kind of just like trusting, trusting in something that you can't see at all. You feel me? It's just, I know it's going to get better. I don't know how. I just know it is, you know, and, you know, people kind of, a lot of people be thinking I'm weird just because, I mean, when bad things happen, I don't, I don't really like show emotion and I don't really show my emotions, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm really... I really am like a real emotional dude, like for real, for real, <laughs> like low key. But uh, I don't show it. You feel me? I don't. I don't let that shit out. And like I said, I keep it bottled up, which isn't really good, you know. But like when bad things happen, and like let's say I do tell somebody, like yeah, man, you know this happened. They will literally look at me like, damn, for real, like what you gonna do? And I'll literally just be like, shit, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna figure it out. You know, it's it's, it's gonna happen. For one, because I have faith. I believe that it's going to happen. I got faith that it's going to happen. And then two, bro, it don't got, I don't got a choice. It doesn't have a choice. It has to happen. You feel me? Like, it has to happen. What else? Like, what else am I going to do? I can't just sit in the corner and just cry. I can't just fucking give up, you know? And a, and a lot of y'all, bro, that's what y'all do, bro. Y'all give up. Y'all niggas, y'all break down. And I ain't going to lie, I'm getting kind of, <laughs> I'm getting kind of riled up and I'm getting a little... I ain't gonna say upset, but passionate, like uh, 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 aggressive with it because I am a passionate person. You feel me? And I don't, I don't like to see people give up. I don't like to see, <clears throat> I don't like to see people quit. You feel me? So yeah, man, don't quit. Don't give up. It's gonna happen. The only way that it's not gonna happen is if you quit. You feel me? Like. You a lot stronger than what you think you are. You a lot stronger than what you think you are. It's going to be my last little story. <clears throat> I haven't talked about this in... I don't think I ever talked about this besides the day it happened. <clears throat> so... Like I said, you a lot stronger than, than what you think you are. The day my brother died... crazy it's crazy me saying that shit out loud because i don't even i don't talk about it but like the day he died i remember because i was the first person to know and i remember just crying son like bro i remember like bawling my eyes out One second, just give me some time. But I remember like bawling my eyes out, and I remember I was with I was with my cousin. Well, he's not really my cousin, but like that was his best friend. And I remember like I was just crying. I kept asking like, bro, why me? Like, why I gotta be the one to tell everybody? Why I gotta be the one to you know tell my dad, tell my brother, tell my sister, tell my mom? Like, what, bro? Why I gotta do that shit? Like. Like, why I gotta be the strong one? Literally, I literally remember saying that. Like, bro, in the middle of the fucking mall, crying. Like, why I gotta be the strong one? Yellow tape, all of that, all around the place. You know, regular people in the mall not know what's going on, and I'm just in the middle of the mall, just crying. Why I gotta be the strong one, bro? And it's, <laughs> I just remember at that that day, that time, 
that was something that wholeheartedly I did not think I was going to get through. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I didn't think I was strong enough to do it. But I did it. You feel me? And the shit was hard. But I did it. And I got through it. And not only that, but... Like... I excelled after all of that stuff happened. You feel me? I didn't fucking... I didn't give up. I mean, yeah, I was crying a lot. Like, shit, you could tell. No, I'm all... (laughs) Flustered right now. But it's like... I did not give up. That's the point of what I'm really trying to say. It's times where stuff happened and just... It's not even just that case, but... It's times where bad things happen and I was literally freaking crying and bro why me man why this got happen to me man like why can't just why 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 nothing good happen to me you know and yeah man you gotta change what you think man change the way you move you feel me just keep going you feel me giving up is not an option that shit is not a choice you know i mean it's cool to express your emotions it's cool to it's not it's okay to express your emotions it's okay if shit get hard too hard yeah it's okay to cry you know for a little bit but don't fucking give up my nigga don't don't fucking go in the corner and say oh i can't do this bro you ain't got no fucking choice but to do this you don't got a choice but to do this so yeah man i I just i had to make this video because just everything that's been happening in like in my life for like the past past week just like how I've been feeling. I mean, you can tell I'm probably like you could probably tell that I'm sick. Just like my nose is stopped up, and it's crazy because I don't even get sick. But just the way that I've just been feeling my frequency, like this past week, past two weeks, it's just been low. It's just been down, and I just been having you know negative thoughts and in like it. Like I said, I don't get sick, but it makes it makes sense to me why I'm sick because. I allow my fucking frequency to go down for me to get sick. And, um, I mean, but that's, that's besides the point. You feel me? Like I'm straight, you know, uh, regardless of, you know, what's happening in my life, you know, I'm going to be able to get through it. Cause well, for one, I ain't got no choice Two, everything always works out, you know, for the better or for the worse. Like it always works out, you know? Um, and also everything happens for a reason. You feel me? I trust I trust what's going on. I trust my journey. You know, I trust God. I I I got faith that that everything's gonna work out because like bro, I've been through some real shit, you feel me? Like and if and all the OGs, y'all know, cause y'all saw it, because I posted it. And I mean that's that's some of the stuff that I posted, you know, but I've been through real stuff and like now it's to a point to where like now bad stuff happened. And I don't even really react to it. I don't even really, like, show emotion to it. And when it when it is a situation and, like, if I'm in a situation and somebody else is involved with that situation, they take it the wrong way when they don't see me react to it. You feel me? And it's just because, like, bro, I've been through so much shit. And, like, like I said, even to this day, like, real life stuff that I don't talk about, I don't bitch and complain about it. It, it it matters to me a lot. It's super important to me, but it's like I, I gotta keep going, son. I, I gotta keep going, you know. But I don't even remember where I was going with that whole statement. But yeah, man. Oh, I was saying that, like all of that stuff, and then just the two dudes who came up to me today, and just how I was, I was, cause I was already feeling like a certain way today. Like I was, my mood was already kind of low. This is low key. Besides my conversation, besides my conversation with those two dudes, this is the first time I've talked this entire day. Like this is the first time I like. This is my first time hearing my voice <laughs> today. Besides, you know, when I was talking to those two dudes, like I've been silent this entire day. You know, and I don't know, man. It's just everything that happened i feel like i had to make this video i had to make this video i know i'm not the only person going through stuff i know that for a fact you know you if you're still watching right now i hope this video helped you you feel me like you probably going through something right now you know whether it's 
uh, you know, it's all real life stuff. But whether whether uh, you play a sport and, you know, you're not doing as well as you think you or you want to do, uh, you probably play a sport and you're not a starter. So I'm just talking about things that you know I can relate to. Um, whether you, you know, you don't have as much money as you want. I know that's most people, you know, um, whether you in like relationship issues, you know, your girl probably just dumped you or, you know, you probably had to make a decision to where, you know, you know, just relationship stuff. Like at the end of the day, everybody's going through something and yeah, you can, it's, it's easy to look at people who like famous on Instagram and people who got money and it's easy to think like oh yeah you know their life is perfect but nah and their life not perfect everybody going through something everybody is going through something everybody has their own story everybody got their own journey you feel me we all want the same things in life but it's we just got different ways different journeys of actually getting there you know so bro em- embrace the journey embrace the struggle yeah you know you're gonna have some 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 bumps in a row. It's gonna be some. You're gonna take some steps back. You're gonna get your heart broken. If you want a money grind, shit, you're gonna go broke a few times. You're gonna lose it all a few times. Trust me. Trust me. You're gonna lose it all a few times. If you play a sport, you're gonna have bad games. You feel me? You probably not. You probably don't got the scholarship that you want. You know. But at the end of the day, like I said, you can't stop. You gotta keep going. Yeah, man, because shit, you ain't got a choice. You don't got a choice. You feel me? So, that's pretty much the end, man. If you like this video, if you enjoy this video, definitely like it. I'm not going to lie. I actually like making videos like this because I could just talk, bro. I could just express myself. I don't got to think. I don't got to think about what I'm going to say next. I can stutter. I can. I like doing videos like this because it's real. This is what I like. I like real life stuff. And I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like I, sh- I should be doing this anyway. You know, it also helps me with myself, and like, it helps me with releasing stuff that's on my mind and and the tension that I be having built up, you know. Yeah, and it's helping y'all too. It's helping y'all too. So, it's just a win, win, win. Regardless of if it's, I don't know how many views it's gonna get, but that really don't even matter, honestly. So. If you're not subscribed already, click subscribe, catch the way, join the family. I know you're going through something. Shit, I'm going through something too, man. I'm going through a lot. You feel me? And trust me, when you level up, the problems that you have are going to be more extreme problems. You feel me? They're going to be extreme problems. <laughs> I'm telling you now. So, yeah, man. That's it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I had to switch up the scenery a little bit because I never really make videos like this, you know, or different. It's my first time here, but yeah. Fuck with y'all because y'all fuck with me. If you got a dream, chase your dream, bro. Do not give up. If you're going through something, do not give up. Keep going. Keep pushing. It's going to get better. You just got to have faith. You got to believe in yourself. You, you just you got to keep doing it because you ain't got a choice. All right. Stay cool. Stay safe out here in these streets, man. Most of all, stay wavy, my friends. Stay wavy, because waves don't die. Peace. Damn, I remember being broke. Niggas calling me a joke. Sleeping on me, now they woke. Now they say I give them hope. She ain't never even noticed me. Now I pull up and she knows me. Shorty say she see the goat in me. I got everybody quoting me.